this any way you want. You know what I mean? Like, uh, but it has to work. It has to balance. You know, um, that's what all the information out there on how to start a business is all about. It's not about the right way to do something, the wrong way to do something. It's about this is a way to do something that actually gets something done. Hey, how's it going? I just on. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching Weekly Kenya. Be sleeping, wake up late. See what uh, what's up, guys? Can you out here? I'm not using a seatbelt. Great. Anyway, doing what I do. in between running some errands. Man. Look like I'm losing weight. I don't know. Kind of. Anyway, uh, Kuro, I don't know why I put this on. It's probably easier to understand me if you can, like, read my lips a little bit. Coronavirus in full effect. Well, not really. It's actually quite mild down, you know, but they say it's, they, they, they say it's still, uh, still reason for concern, so people are staying vigilant. Um, I'm chilling, you know, I'm thinking about my whole life, it's like, you know, 30 years old, 31 <laughs> years old, and um, I'm building my business, Project Ford, and, um, and all the other businesses that go with it. It's actually like eight different businesses right now, but, um, you know, it's interesting because I'm like pre. Let, let's say, let's say I'm pre-business. I really should say that, even though I do have a registered business, Project Four is registered. Um, but I'm about to launch basically all of my businesses. I've been talking. I talked a little bit this year about how I think everyone should have ten business. That's five. Multiply that times two. Um, ten businesses, and um, yeah, I'm executing on that for myself. Look at my my hair shaved. My, I actually have been cutting my own hair for like a year, but it just so happened that my clippers broke at the same time the coronavirus started, so I'm looking like everybody else right now. I, I can't get a haircut. I can get a haircut. Anyway, um, so um, Project Forward, killer launch in all of my businesses. Um, I'm excited for all of them. Basically, gonna be, it's going to be like eight different, eight or more different businesses. Um, Eight main ones, four main ones, um, and then some umbrella and some some campaigns and some other things. Um, but I'm excited, and I just realized, um, you know, it's that it's that simple. But anyway, right now, you have to get money when you launch businesses, and um, you know, I'm going to show you guys how to. You just keep watching this. You're going to figure out how to use Uber and other delivery companies as your funding source. If you're 30, 20, anything like that, you got time, you are so lucky to be in America right now if you have a driver's license and a car because, you know, how much you can ask for investment in a business. As long as, and you can handle your debts and no one's coming after you for anything, handle debts first, you know, that's important. That's one thing I'm thinking a lot about too. I'm like, all right, let me make sure I have an approach to handle this stuff. But also, if everything's cool, it's like, okay, you were gonna ask someone 15, for $15,000 to invest into your business. I'm like, what the heck? Why would you to, I missed my turn. Why would you do that when when you can freaking do deliveries, even if it took you a year, do that for a year, put that money aside, be chill, start your own business, own 100% of your own business. You know, because you, you're going to ask someone for 15K, which seems like a lot of money, and it's really not that much money, and then you're going to give them 10% of your business? If your business is a bad idea, then you're going to regret giving them part of the business because you're going to have messed up a relationship and you might even blame them for the business going down. If your business is a good idea, then you just gave away like maybe, maybe you just gave someone a million dollar profit. 
There's very few certain situations, I think, that you really need to worry about getting an investor or getting a business partner or anything like that. No. Delivery drive your way. Watch me. Delivery drive your way to the capital you need, any financial capital you need. And you know what? A lot of the stuff that I do, um, because I still drop massive amounts of content when I want to, and I'm still dropping basically a song a week, almost two songs a week this year, and um, blog posts, articles, I build my own websites, so I do have a a few other skill sets, you know, and I deploy all of my stuff at the same time. (sighs) When I really think about it, I get kind of impressed with myself. (laughs) I'm just joking. You know, it's all by the grace of God, and um, it's also thank you know th- great people around me. You know, I've, that's that's been the one thing. I mean, not great people because it seems like other people are worse, but the right people, the right people for the right time in your life. And I think um, the right people, whatever time in your life you're in, right. Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Welcome back to this weekly Kenya. I know it seems like I'm driving a lot. Yeah, I am. But this day's ending. Um, But I just wanted to record a video and just say thanks for watching. Thanks for being you. You know, life is repetitive from time to time. It takes a lot of work to do the things we do. And, you know, sometimes you can't see the effects of the work you're doing. You're like, oh, I'm building such a big thing. But as long as you're being consistently moving, you're being consistently, uh, you know, diligent. Uh, diligence. Diligence is a big deal. As long as you're being consistently diligent, then you're headed in the right direction. So don't worry about all the nonsense. Don't worry about all the naysayers like this guy over here to my side oh he's like should you really be having the light on your car recording no i should not and i will endeavor not to do so but please you know if you don't have something positive to say don't say something negative i know that's not how the saying goes i'm gonna go ahead and tune out and i uh, hope that i get to uh hear from y'all see see some of y'all soon um, I had a show in Japan. Probably gonna have to push that, push that back, because you know I just don't want to do anything weird. I know the whole world is acting like the coronavirus is uh, non-existent now, but uh, uh, just to you know, with the different different energies going around, you gotta be mindful. And I've been waiting. I didn't cancel it yet. You know, I was just waiting. I was like, you know, maybe we'll still go. Maybe we'll still go, but. At this point, I'm like, let me push it till next year. There's so much to do in the city that I live in. I don't know if this is the right time to be going to Japan again, as much as I would love to. But by the time I go back, after after this whole thing is done, I'm going to start going to next year. I'm probably going to be in Japan like three times a year because I love it so much. But right now, you know, relax. It's just groundwork season. You know, I've been building business for years and that's because it takes years and I know even though they might not say it a lot of the people around me they they might not get it but they're about to see they're about to see and I'm saying this right now because I don't want anyone to think it's a mistake it's not a mistake I didn't get lucky I've been building it the whole time right now it's invisible there aren't even whispers. Well, there's some whispers. People know what Project Forward is, and shout out to everyone, you know, especially my city, San Antonio, shown so much love for Project Forward. But um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, you know, a good indicator. It's gonna be the same kind of energy that we try to replicate as we continue to grow. It's gonna be massive. It's gonna be massive. I'm excited for for everything Project Forward, Quantum Cities, Laddington, Kenyo. building stage next year's flying stage all right see y'all later bye
Tarzan, 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 Different ways to change love, different ways to open eyes, different ways to change lives. I've been dreaming of different ways to change love, different ways to open eyes, different ways to change lives. Don't think it's as deep as you wanna. <laughs> I know you got that. I know you got the different ways you always want it. Dive deep every single time you got to think of a line you know you're thinking of a, a lie so you don't have to deal with what's going on right now. What's going on right now? Open up your mouth, Debbie. Buddies in the streets trying to tell you something, but you'd rather sleep, you'd rather let it all pass by you. Pass by why you turn eyes. My fellow people, how goes it? It's just your boy Kenya out here on the road, making moves steadily, grinding. You know, uh, business is so interesting. I think one thing people don't think about is how customizable business really is. You can do, oh, let me take this off. You can do business any way you want. You know what I mean? Like, uh, but it has to work. It has to balance, you know. Um, that's what all the information out there on how to start a business is all about. It's not about the right way to do something, the wrong way to do something. It's about, this is a way to do something that actually gets something done. Now, if you want to innovate on top of that, go ahead. But, you know, you, you don't have to discount good quality information. And so, anyway, I'm just learning. Learning, living, giving my all, every second, every moment. Looking weird to people. This guy just pulled up. Probably looking at me. Let's see if he's looking at me. No? I don't think so. I don't think so. I can't really see if anyone's over there or not, but um, they are looking at me. And they can see me looking at them through my camera might be in a tough spot, if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean, if you're aware of my meaning, especially now that I move my head weird. Alright, I'll see you guys later. And then I can like basically put
Cedric Johnson on that. Put cauliflower rice. And put like some type of vegetable I know is good for kidney failure, you know? Yeah. Every single day of the week I'm in love Every single moment I 